we know there's a four-team playoff coming, but if I talked to you two years ago, would you have been in favor of keeping the BCS, four-team playoff, or eight-team playoff? I don't think any of those are the right scenario. I mean, you really need a 16-team playoff to have a real playoff, quite honestly, but we're not going to have that it, because of, the, of academics and the, and the school years between semester schools and quarter schools. If you went to a 16-team playoff, it goes way too deep in the second semester or the third quarter. So. Uh, what we have now is something that's going to be uh, argued because the fifth team and the sixth team, they're going to say they should be in the top four. And the biggest thing, and I want to see how it's going to work out, is this panel of experts. How are they going to choose those four teams? Because strength of schedule, for example, is not a de facto determinant. It can be considered. So uh, I just worry about the bias. Would you be in favor of getting rid of the coaches vote because the coaches don't see that many games? I would like to have, uh, you have to win your conference championship to be in the final four. Well, if you had 16, you know, USC with two losses could be in this year. Is college football, is there enough parity that, you know, you have 16 teams that could viably compete for the title? First of all, we, we shouldn't even go down this road because it's not going to 16. It, we, you know, it's yeah. never going to go to 16. The president's okay. never going to allow that to happen. So we have four. It's a little bit better than two. Yeah. It's just twice as large. But yeah. the fifth team, I promise you, is going to feel left out just like the third team did last year, Oklahoma State.